All right. After a whole week or two, we finally get to play Radiant Dawn. Finally. Yep, with it took so long. It literally took so long. Yeah, but we're here, guys, and it's we're doing it in the morning this time. Well, morning for me, at least. It's afternoon for me. It's like two in the two p.m. in the afternoon almost. Yeah, it's almost gonna be two p.m. And I got my fumos. I'm happy that you have your fumos. <laughs> I'm a fumo owner now. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I really had nothing going on today. Sundays are just kind of free for me now, so like, I just said screw it. I want to do something. I want to do very slow to you. Hey, I mean, nothing wrong with being slow. <laughs> That's fine. Oh boy, I get to immediately start with my fucking lolly voice. Great. <laughs> great. <laughs> great start. Yeah, always a great start. It's time to get moving. Do we have a target? First, we'll head for Flagre. The fortress town between Crimea and Benyon. What a funny name to say that, Flandre. <laughs> Flandre. I'm gonna call it Flandre now. Sure. Since the, make... since the Lagoo's alliance has fought in Flandre already, we're familiar with the lay of the land. The lay? Like lace chips? No, it's... <laughs> no, it's basically oh, the, the layout. The, lay the layout. Yeah, that makes more sense. And what happens in Toho 6? <laughs> the lays. The DX <laughs> the extra sage. Yep. Sounds like a good plan. Do you still have- do you still resent your choice to command this army? No offense, Apostle, but you didn't give me much of a choice in the first place. Oh, damn, burn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if I'm not fully committed, how can I expect these troops to be? Just remember, when this is all over, you'll be getting one heck of a bill. Oh shit, he's charging her! <laughs> he literally is charging her. Well, I'm sure I and I'm sure, and I know you'll be worth it. Speaking of which, I have something for you. Consider it a down payment. Down, he's basically now, now acting like he's basically acting like Cloud Strife. <laughs> It'll cost the, you. At least in the first part of the game, at least, <laughs> where he, he where he pretends to be Zack Fair, or at least unintentionally inherits Zack's memories. Me and Gaga. <laughs> Me and Gaga. I'm sure you remember this blade. It is the Holy Sword, Ragnell. Yo! Please take it. We finally got Ragnell, Jacob. Yay! Plot po plot reasons, though, for not getting it sooner. <laughs> we finally got Ragnell. What, what did Bike just say? Nah, fuck it, I don't want this sword anymore. He just gave it to Benyon. Are you sure yeah. about this? I returned it after the... Oh, he, okay, that just explains it. I returned it after the Bad King's War, because he said it was one of Benyon's national treasures. You know, you know, Sanaki's ancestor used to used to have both Ragnell and and Alon Alondite. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. We we'll, literally wield both of the legendary weapons before. Indeed, this sword was used by Empress Saltina, the first apostle of Benyon, back in the early days of the Empire. Replace the retard sword now, yeah. <laughs> you know, Jacob, literally all of this makes too much sense. It was one of the two swords the Empress used to fight the Dark God. I can think of no better person to give it to. You're probably seeing what Al Altina looks like, right? Mm, it's been a while. Hold on, I think Zeppi sent me sauce. Oh yeah, he sent me he sent me Yuri. Let's go. Hold up. Check this guy shit out, guys. We got Heather and Il and uh, Nephany. and a uh, sexy Nephany. Ooh. And a uh, cool Nephany. <laughs> and whatever and, and whatever Seb this is Seb sent me. I don't know. I'll, I'll look at you it. You know, you know, Jacob. I think Zeppi is going to send you an image of Altina. <laughs> oh yeah, he probably will. I think he just did, actually. <laughs> that's funny. Hold on, we'll have a look at that. Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, that, that, that I think I think that that's her. Oops. Oh, it actually is her. Damn, she a baddie. She is ba basically like the first em empress 
of freaking Ben Yun. <laughs> All right, I'd be happy to use it again. Thanks. I fight for my friends. We finally got Ragnell. I can finally fight for my friends. <laughs> well, thanks for the sauce. It's already off to a good start. Excuse me, I bring urgent news to Queen Alincia and General Bike of Apostles' Army. What happened? We received a report that the Dane army had appeared near the border between Dane and Crimea. The Dane army demands custody of the Apostle on behalf of Benyon. They will use force if necessary. Oh shit, it's, is it Micaiah that's leading the forces? I don't know, it's the, or it's, it's the forces of evil. Maybe we... Instead of calling her Micaiah, we call her Slow Kaya. <laughs> Slow Kaya? More like, well, yeah. I, I, I call her Mid Kaya. <laughs> I call, I literally called her Slow Kaya because she's really slow. Haha, <laughs> she's retarded. <laughs> Dane wants to get in our hair again? Perfect. <laughs> no, not my hair. I'm puzzled by this. Why does Dane support the Senator Armstrong? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Bike, we must change our target. Agreed. We have to get Dane out of our way before we do anything else. Holy shit, this map looks long! Wait a minute, this is just the fucking bridge map from the first game. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it basically is. So, Dane still refuses to negotiate? Either they believe the Senate's lies? Or the Senate is just pulling some strings behind the scenes. Well, whatever the reason, we can't attack Ben without taking care of this first. I'll not give up. I won't stop sending messengers until they respond. Ike, I leave you in charge here. Let's keep our numbers small. We shouldn't provoke them any further. I understand. Gallia will stay behind. You'll have your t your turn soon, Skipper. I promise. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I definitely. I mean, so much for keeping it small. Twelve units is still a lot, bro. <laughs> well, we got new units. Hey, Sigrun. Were we? Were yeah. I? Don't, I don't think we were able to use her in the last game, were we? Not much. But look at her. She is close to leveling leveling up her next uh, class. Damn. Then <laughs> we got Tanith. I do like me some Tanith. We did use her a lot before. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Mecha's bridge. So yeah, I'm gonna keep my army the same. Yep, I, I see nothing wrong with this army. Yeah. I still have Ooh, to bleep. level up Mist. Yeah, if you don't level up Mist, she's gonna be midst. <laughs> Great. And I have no reason to level up Nephany. Well, she's already- I mean, she can take one more level up. <laughs> I mean, she's basically already done. <laughs> the pitfall map? Oh. Up. Yeah, so I don't know, you could, you could leave Nephany out to level up someone else if you want. No, I'm still gonna keep her since I love her. Oh, and Heather <laughs> is also maxed out. Well, almost. She might be the first Fire Emblem character to max out all of her stats. We got Ileana, got Titania, who I'm actually planning to level up the most. Yeah. And we have Braum, who is Braum. always awesome. Braum is awesome. Yeah, always. Can't wait for pitfalls. Oh, well, me too. I can't wait for that either. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this, is going, this is going to be a really rough chapter, I can tell. Well, at least I'm not half asleep this time, because I just woke up, like, a few hours ago. Hopefully Actually, the heat doesn't get to you. Actually, cha I changed my mind. Uh, three and a half hours ago, but still. You know what, Jacob? I've been getting some coincidence for the past few days. What? A few days ago, I've been... I've literally woken up from a thunderstorm. Hmm. And then on, on the second day... I've got another thunderstorm literally wake, waking me up, and yesterday I got another thunderstorm. Well, that's Florida for you, I guess. <laughs> no, I think it's coincidences. Or that. <laughs> Holy shit, it's it's Garan. <laughs> Garan. The, the, the descendant of Garan. 
from Garen class. Great. <laughs> Great. I cannot believe <laughs> this. It's an army of subhumans in Barak. It must be true that this apostles are fake. The true apostle would never join force with those filthy creatures. The enemy has sent a messenger once again. Commander, this is the third time they've asked to negotiate. Why would cry why would friggin' Slow Kaya ever hire this guy? Ignore the messengers. We must protect the bridge. That is the order from the Maiden of Dawn. See? Of I mid. told you. The Maiden of Mid. <laughs> we got a different friggin' player face theme. Hooray! Alright, so Zeppi says the first maxed out character in this game. Yeah. Well, Jacob, Col we're not gonna no. hear the we're not gonna hear the devoted anymore. That's too bad. Tolkchan was the first unit to be fully upgraded in the entire series. Oh, okay. But Jacob, we're gonna hear something really different. I hope I like it. Well, not bad. Not a bad start. And also, Ike is do it. Ike's fucking shooting like beams out of his sword. Wait, do you think he's Cloud now? <laughs> or or Amelia? Or not Amelia? Uh, bro thinks Bro thinks he's fucking a mixture of Cloud Strife and um, Komachi from Twelve Point Three. Wonder why. Good job, Bike. I mean, at least you get to hear more of Ike's theme. I know. If you want to know what this song is, it's called Time of Action. It's not bad. I just prefer this over the devotion. Uh, well, I'll, I'll probably give... I'll, I'll probably let it play for an entire map before I give my thoughts. The Black Knight sort of did the same thing. Oh. Well, the Black Knight doesn't count. That's cheating. <laughs> Because yeah, the, really the, the Black Knight is designed to be OP. I mean, he was at the first at the first start. Yeah. But like Heather, she she doesn't look like the type to max out all of her stats, but yet she is about to anyway. And I'm proud of it. And let's just hope that freaking Soren gets a need for speed. <laughs> Soren gets a need for speed again. And we have this mid music. I'm taking his sword. Oh, I'm not talking about the stats. I mean, his sword. Oh, oh, you're talking about how Allendite does that. Okay, I see. Literally, Alan Dyke does the same thing. I mean, that makes sense. They are literally the same sword. It just, it, I mean, it just seems normal for Black Knight to do it, but it seems weird for Ike to do it, because I don't remember him doing that in Path of Radiance. He does that in Path of Radiance. Oh, I guess I just never saw it or noticed. Well, Jacob, it's been months since we played friggin' Radiant Dawn. I mean, at least Path of Radiance. And Titania got all her health back again. <laughs> yeah, she literally got all of her health back. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? She countered! <laughs> yeah, guy, or don't counter me, bitch. Oh, she's still cool. leveling up. Wow, there are a lot of units. Did that guy just use the fucking warp staff? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Just to heal. Wow, what a loser. This is literally the new player face theme. Eh. I don't know what to think about it yet. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I wonder if Radiant Dawn uses BRSTMs. Or not. Probably. I mean, I could check. 
<laughs> Although I don't know when will be a good time to check, because maybe maybe during the enemy phase turn I can look. <laughs> yeah, well maybe. Yeah, because you're not you're not gonna be doing much during that. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I probably won't. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! He just he just sent me more sauce. Oh, I got I got I got I gotta show that. Hold on. He, he sent me Bunnies and Khalil. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Khalil is like a Khalil's like the new mommy or something. Donuts. Donuts. Oh nuts. Well everybody loves donuts. <laughs> donuts. 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 <laughs> I love how I still have that sound. Oh yeah, I called it. There's the pitfall. <laughs> Captain Falco's like, hey, dumbass, you got into a pitfall? Here I am. <laughs> hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Kept you waiting, I, huh? <laughs> I knew you were about to say that. I had a little thing back in the camp <laughs> that I had to deal with beside me playing F-Zero. <laughs> no problem, Captain Falcon. Can you get me out of this fucking pitfall? <laughs> what kind of thing? Was it F-Zero? And hey, where's Mr. Van Driesen? He was exhausted by playing F Zero, but it's, but he insisted on coming with me. I had to tie him down to <laughs> to a bed to keep him there. <laughs> you tied him up, really? No, nah, I'm just kidding. He passed out <laughs> earlier, so I had a different anchor slowing me down this time. Bro, the bar is fucking great. There she is, Jacob Leanne. Oh, waifu bird, Leanne. Uh, I, um, I will fight, yes? She's racing sister, for sure. The girl's as stubborn as he is. Listen up, young lady. You herons are supposed to be more like Raph Raphael. Quiet and and gr quiet and graceful, all that. <laughs> and trying to take- and trying to take down, um, all of the bad stuff in New York. Exactly. <laughs> Don't mind Captain Falcon, Luann. We're honored to have you here. Hooray! We have a we have a Heron unit for the map. Perfect. I know. And Captain Falcon is here too. Because he is so cool. Like always. He's so cool. And your hand axe about to break. I know. <laughs> I just killed a mage in one <laughs> shot. Easy peasy. I am actually gonna attempt to max out freaking Titania stats. Well, she maxed out strength already. Yeah, it's already a good start. <laughs> it's a mage, what do you expect? What, a mage being a mommy? I mean, that's why, uh, that's why female Reflay is so good. I wonder why. Specifically the baddie evil version. The Grima version. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I don't know who to blame for me liking baddies, but I think it's just kind of a thing that you get with age. <laughs> that's called fine wine. Fine wine? Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, getting <laughs> one-shotted? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just lit I just literally killed a freaking warrior. But yeah, you should give this a more of a listen later on. I'm sure it'll actually be better to listen to when it's not like playing like 10 seconds of it every few minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll get to hear it pro like in full. It's kind of funny to say this, but I literally replace... I literally use that music to replace Ike's theme. Ah, uh, good taste. And what's kind of funny is that this is actually in Smash Ultimate. What? The, um... that battle theme? Yeah. Oh, interesting. It's gonna miss. 
Yep, who called it? Wow, tan it sucks. <laughs> and I can't even get out. Well, actually. I have to get Leanne out. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> what happens if I do this? Hmm. What on Ike? <laughs> Did he just get out of the pitfall? Hooray, she leveled up. Not that she need not that she need it. <laughs> yeah, and I can't even get Ike. Ike you good, bro? He's paralyzed. Oh, boo. So I can't even move him. So that was so, useless yeah. then. So yeah, that was kind of useless of me to do that. Good to know that that happens then. <laughs> He'll get the same level up, I'm sure. Hmm. That's a case where I'm glad that they get the same level up. Now I'm gonna use the freaking silver daggers. And she's able to deal much more damage. Yeah, I didn't know. Until until um until Yunaka and Heather, I thought all thieves were just shit. But I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I just wanna make freaking Heather stronger. Because I love her. <laughs> Is it because she's blonde? No. Is it because she's a lesbian? Yes. <laughs> because she loves freaking Nephany. <laughs> it reminds me of that line from a TTYD remake where KP Pete is like, She likes juice, I like juice, we have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's, it's, it, I was gonna say, like, <laughs> she likes Nephany, you like Nephany, you got so much in common. <laughs> Various. Yeah. Enemy FaceTime. You know All that right. something bad happens in enemy. Oh, come on! Well, now it's time they to find. Now it's time to find out. Does Radiant Dawn use BRSTMs? We're about to find out, guys. Yes, it does. It uses BRSTMs. Which means I could edit Radiant Dawn's music if I really wanted to. Just don't do this. Just don't do this just yet, Jacob. Hmm. <laughs> Ken? <laughs> Man, Ike is not having the best luck. Poor bike. But yeah, just just don't edit the music just yet. Why not? Because it wouldn't even feel because it's not gonna be the same experience. Yeah, I guess so. Also nice crit. Okay, what That's if a... okay what what if I edited the dawn mid gay music, at least? Sure. Or I could edit Ike's theme. <laughs> yeah, you can you know what? Sure, you can just do that. It, I mean, it depends if Ike's theme still even plays later in the game, though, because I don't know. No, it really doesn't. Like, for all I know, this could be the last map that plays Ike's theme. Probably. But then again, it would be kind of boring if you if you constantly play Ike's theme over and over. True. I mean, it, it's good, but I kind of want to hear different songs, too. I know. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, for the next episode, I'll replace the Dawn Brigade music and the Ike's theme, and that's about it. That's all I will do. And maybe the level up sound. And make it like the Shadows of Valentia version or something. Sure, I like that idea. Because <laughs> when it comes to BRSTM editing, I'm godlike at that. Then again, it's not very hard to do. I know. I literally have to kill these mages right now. They're literally creating some kind of barrier to ensure that I don't go forward. <laughs> They're being mid as hell. Oh, they are.
Well, she didn't crit. Okay, I do. I do like this music now. <laughs> it's def It's getting better. The more you listen to it, the better it sounds. Yeah. This music literally just represents that you're in the final stretch of the game. I mean, what chapter is this? Chapter 310, I think? 311. 311. We're getting close to finishing this section. I mean... Wasn't there like, what, like, 15 parts of Ike's section? I forget. There's literally 15 chapters in this section. Okay, I was right then. I forgot to mention that, uh... That the freaking <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> that the freaking uh, Dawn Brigade... I mean, not the Dawn Brigade, I mean the Crimean Army and the... <laughs> and the Grail Mercenaries are joining in one force. So basically, I have every every single unit. Oh shit! <laughs> well, what the fuck happened? I was looking away. That's tear. Tear. That's a new one. Yeah, he just insta kills. No! She better not die in the next turn. I would be upset if she dies. Actually, um, you know what, actually? We can finish, we can finish part three next time, actually. Yeah, we could. Yeah, they're doing more barriers, what the fuck? That doesn't make sense all the time, because music doesn't age well the more you listen to it. What do you mean? I think music gets better with age. Just like fine wine. I think, I personally think music gets better the more you listen to it. But that's just me. Oh no! Yeah, this chapter is surely annoying. I mean, thank god this is just a siege chapter. And not a defense chapter. <laughs> Good for you. If this was a defense chapter, th th we'd be here for like three hours, I swear. <laughs> I mean, I'm exaggerating, but still. It is an exaggeration. The next chapter, we're gonna kill this much enemies. At mm. least for the requirements, we're gonna have we're gonna have a requirement uh, kind of count. Defeat thirty or forty enemies. I'm assuming forty is for harder difficulties. Yeah, it is. And then chapter. Okay, so. Chapter 13 is a de is a defense slash kill the boss chapter. Or no, wait no. Uh, yeah, it is. And then chat. And then. Ooh, that's a good level up. End game is route route the enemy. That's what it says. Well, thank God I have freaking. Thank God mist. for mend. Mist continuing to beat like the best healer of all time. I always like healers. Yeah, I hate when they die, though. <laughs> that's always a sad time. I would also be sad if freaking Leanne dies. I'd be sad if Mist died. <laughs> I know. I mean, I'm sad if anybody dies, though, to be fair. Except for, uh, except for Marcia's brother. I don't care about him. <laughs> yeah, nobody- Yeah, nobody freaking cares about him. <laughs> That's like, like, that was the- that was like the only time I was like, yeah, whatever, he can die, I don't really care. The one I true- We at least care about freaking Marcia. Yeah, especially in this game, she got a huge glow up. Yeah, Cause, cause she- she grew her hair out. She is literally one of the most adorable characters we've ever seen. Well, Engage definitely has competition there, I'd say. <laughs> okay. Considering Coketon exists. <laughs> I know. People still make fun of her. Boo. 
But you at least got to understand why. Um, no, I don't. I love how Kevin Falcon just comes in with his 68 health and says, Yo, what up? People, <laughs> just, make fun, people just make fun of her because of how ridiculous she looks. When, well, when people first saw her. Well, I mean, then again, I played with mods and I used her, her black outfit design with the cool crown. And, you know, that design looks cool. It actually, actually that design is not even can. That's something that someone made on Game Ben, and I just kind of made it the the canon design in my head. Game bananas. Engage sweeps because Gold Mary and Coke Chan exist. Oh, true. Don't forget Ivy as well. Oh, I love Ivy. Now I have to kill the freaking person who is using the ballista. Come on, Captain Falcon. You gotta kill the ballista guy. Stop! Stop jerking off to F Zero and play your uh, and kill that guy. Come on. <laughs> I mean, he got a credit, bro. They just keep they he they they stand no chance, bro. Was that really worth teleporting for? <laughs> you were like really literally right there, bro. Oh shit! One damage. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. what's your rock gonna do? What's your rock gonna do? <laughs> Yo, Captain Falcon is literally goaded. <laughs> He's carrying this whole map. He literally is. Oh, heal? Yeah. I really hope I can reach through there. Maybe not. And while I haven't seen anything from the other Fire Emblem games, oh. What are you about to say? But, um, I mean, I've seen some characters from Fates and Awakening. Not many, though. I know more char- I think I know more characters from Three Houses than Awakening and Fates, though. I know. About that. Like our favorite character, Bredelgard. Yeah, freaking Bredelgard. Yeah, who is who, literally who, who, the most- who, the most vulgar, the most vulgar character next to Lucina. <laughs> she is literally very vulgar. Oh, Red Celica. Oh, Red Celica's baddie. The funny thing is that people really hate Edelgard so much. Because... Why? Because she likes bread? <laughs> no, it's because that, uh... She literally sides with the enemy. Oh. Yeah, she literally sides with the enemy who uh, who was terrible to to her back then. Whoa. Well, I'm pretty. I don't know. I think Zeppi said he was gonna play three houses, and I kind. I think I wanted him to do um, Dimitri's route. I think that was the one that had um, uh, God Did Shattering he... Star. No, that. Or was it Claude? It's it's one of those two. I yeah, know that. Claude. It's, okay. it's Claude that has got God Shattering Star. All right, Claude, it is. I mean, I don't really care. You, you can do whatever house you want, Zeppi. <laughs> the funny thing is that Dimitri's route is actually the most popular. Hmm. I mean, at least there's replay value. I wouldn't say it is replay value, but. What the heck? I mean, well, would you say would you say three houses is more replayable than engage? <laughs> or is engage more no, replayable? No, not even. Doesn't even. When I tried to new game plus friggin' uh three houses three houses, it doesn't even feel like I'm replaying the game. It just feels like I'm resetting the game. Oh, okay. Well, good to know then. But hey, what do I know? That's just me. Alright guys, question of the day. What is the most replayable Fire Emblem game? <laughs> most likely engage, I'd say that. It's only for the only because of all the customization mods. Yes. <laughs> Which hey, that's a good reason. I don't I don't want another playthrough of Engage with all these funny mods. Well, I don't know. I don't feel like downloading Engage again. That's okay. Getting that game to work half the time was a bitch, because sometimes it would just crash for no reason. Because of all the mods. It didn't crash that much as often. 
It crashed a few times. Well, and also because, um... Eventually, Cobalt, you, you want to do Engage 2. You want to do Engage again, Zippy, with different mods? Oh my god. Maybe, maybe that'll... Maybe we'll do that in, like, I don't know, three years. <laughs> you know, kind of like how we redid Subspace. We'll redo Engage with different mods. For a year. Just for a year. I mean, I'm going to skip out on Subspace this summer. That's okay. But, We're not going to do Subspace anyway. It just gives me more time anyways. You have a whole year to do um, your Subspace music thing that you're working on. Yeah. And then if you finish Nobody it next year... Nobody's attacking the Ballista. <laughs> what, are they stupid? Yes. Oh, shit! Wow, Captain Falcon almost died from that. Not really. Oh wait, that that's is that him? No. Oh, that's just a random Phoenix. Kiss. Okay, never mind. Where's yeah, it's a random. Where's Phoenix. Captain Falcon at then? I don't know. I think he. I think he dipped. He did. He dipped, and he just sent his his birds. No wonder those birds are so weak, because they're not Cath and Falcon. Oh, they're not. Now you know the power of the Falcon. So, however, there is one unit that Captain Fal Falcon has to avoid. What? B art double crossbows? <laughs> Give yeah. me a sec. Yeah, it's crossbows. <laughs> no, it's not just a crossbow. Um... That? <laughs> yep. It's that. Never heard of that in my life. It <laughs> is a very powerful crossbow that can hit adjacent enemies. You know what's really funny about that guy? What? He maxed out magic. He literally... Did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally did max out magic. Even though he doesn't need it. And he literally maxed out Rez, also. <laughs> Captain Falcon did because he wanted to play F-Zero? <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that's most likely it. That's exactly what he did. Also, I think Zeppi sent more sauce, which I, I like. <laughs> well, uh, okay, first he sent a Wooga. Yeah, there he okay. is. Same pick, but not... <laughs> sure, here's Evil Mommy. Yeah, I like Evil Mommy. Evil Mommy is great. Everybody loves Evil Mommy. Yeah, Nobody can that's deny good. that. <laughs> and and Elijah sent me Sinai last night, and I just said Smash, and then he said Wild. <laughs> oh, come on! I can't believe this just happened again. Wow, nobody can... Nobody can progress. Really? Why not? Because of the freaking... Because of the freaking barriers. Oh, how do you get rid of those? I don't think we can get rid of those. Ha, you missed. <laughs> I mean, maybe those barriers will go right way after a certain amount of time. They might. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, you just literally can't go anywhere in this map. They really can't. Hey, man, I can't say I blame Captain Falcon. I'd love to dip and play F Zero too. <laughs> oh, you missed. Well, get you got some levels for. Tanith and Sigrun, I guess. <laughs> Sigrun is just gonna lo level up into a higher class. Yeah, there's like barely any units on the right side. Oh, there he is. There's Captain Falcon. 
<laughs> he just used terror <laughs> again. He did it again. You did it again, Ocelot. Oh, and he's healing. <laughs> Only reason I'll play Awakening because of female Grima. Good. That's a good reason to play that game. And Lucina. You can't forget about Lucina. Ah, you missed. Uh -oh. oh, shit. It's gonna do like one damage. Just two. <laughs> There's one. Wow. Uh oh. Oh, no. She's gonna take like 10 damage. Yikes. She needs to heal now. And we got reinforcements. How fantastic is that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, at least she'll be safe. Makes me wonder if this map is randomized or something. Why is that? Because the pitfalls are in, like, just really bad spots and you can't go anywhere. Come <laughs> speaking, on. speaking of which... She better get Bane. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I called it! I called it! Alright, you can you can walk a little faster than that, buddy. I hate how slow the knights walk. The only the only one I'm okay with walking slow is the black knight, because he's cool. The other knights, not so much. What about Braum? Okay, Braum is an exception too. Finally, and, and, I mean. and Jim Carrey. <laughs> Freaking Jim Carrey. <laughs> okay, that's that won't kill, but uh, this might be a good setup. I wonder if there's any way to get rid of those barriers. I don't think so. Ooh. She's definitely gonna level up. I, think, I mean, that's an interesting concept for a map. You know, to have, to have it so that, like, only half of your units can get anywhere in the map, and the other half can only get, like, to the halfway point. Yeah, so? Hmm. I mean, technically, you could get another unit over there if you had, um, like, a flying unit carry someone. Oh! <laughs> if Lucina isn't vulgar, then I don't give a fuck. And I need to know if there's a vulgar Lucina mod for uh, Awakening. I hope it's possible. Do, 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 do. I mean, I don't know, I'll have a look. I didn't do shit. Aw, oh, shit. We ain't fans shit. One damage again. Oh, how convenient. The first one to pop up is Awakening. <laughs> Awakening Textures Plus. Ooh, she finally got a class. Ooh. Now she is a Seraph Knight. Yep, she's a Seraph Knight. Would it be in sounds? What? Uh, no good sounds. What do you mean? For awakening mods. <laughs> she literally banes. Unofficial gay awakening. <laughs> Oh, finally! All my units can move! Oh, finally. Damn, that took a while. Well, that's barriers for you. FE13, your bosses want to talk. Hmm... You can make Morshu the shopkeeper? 
<laughs> more shoe. Okay. That, that's, that's a good. That's a good uh, mod. That does sound like a good mod. Hmm. Yes. Let's see what else is there. Negative what? growths. <laughs> what? You can make it so that your units lose stats on level up. That's awful. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, Jay, we're actually gonna finish this chapter. Well, that, that felt quick. Really? Because I'm in, in in the friggin' eighth turn. Mm, still felt pretty short. <laughs> well, the one thing that I have to do is just finish this map right now. Unit unit voice selection mod. That's that's about that's about it for awakening mods. <laughs> that's wrong. It's called Seraf K N, not Seraf. Not yeah, Seraf K N. Seraf Kn. Seraf Knight. Seraf Kn. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, did you see um she says new video yesterday? What do you mean? Oh come on, you're telling me you haven't seen his new video? What are you talking about? You know, boundary break. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Guys, Jose doesn't know what boundary break is. Jacob, I really don't know what it is. Just leave me alone. No, I won't. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> the, reason, the reason I bring it up is because he did a boundary break on MGS3. And it was very fun learning about that game. Oh, I'm sure. Where we well, basically take the camera anywhere we want. And we try to find secrets discoveries of some of our favorite games. Yeah, I really just don't care. <laughs> now you... Now you can kill the friggin... Uh... The ballist... The friggin' ballistian? <laughs> Took a long enough. Only one damage. Yeah, I'm sure that's something, all right. Another bane. And I'm well, gonna, this might and be. I'm, a good... I'm gonna go take a piss. <laughs> well, this might be a good setup for a kill that I need to do. Well, at least I ha I'll have one good use for this freaking hand axe. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> Perfect damage, alright. Zeppi says he wants to see uh, Captain Falcon's speed stat. Okay, sure, we can do that. Holy shit! 40 speed? Oh, 
And that's not even his max speed. Probably his max speed is like 50. Or, it's like, yeah, maybe probably 50, honestly. And he, and he has a ton of, ton of skill. No wonder why he's critting. <laughs> Good on him. Yes, he ride on the blue falcon this <laughs> much. <laughs> Captain Falcon is legit. Yeah, he he's a real one. Oh, I'm sure of that. <laughs> hey. Falcon punch. Well, at least I can kill anybody with no regrets. <laughs> I have no regrets. Hmm. Yeah, you can't even hurt Nephany. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> I knew you were about to say that. <laughs> How? <laughs> Every time I say a specific word, I just knew that you were about to say it. Damn. I can't believe I'm that readable. I can read you like an open book. Your memory is completely clean. <laughs> I see that you enjoy Konami games. <laughs> you have played Super Mario Sunshine, haven't you? <laughs> You've been playing Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Melee. Uh. You like Castlevania, don't you? I know he has some other reactions. I forgot for what, though. Probably for the controller rumbling. Oh, no, not that. I was wondering, like, what other games he play he, he talks to you about. Probably like Suikoden. Azure Dreams. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's let's look at that up because I I don't really bother thinking about it, but let's see. List of psych list of Psycho Mantis games. <laughs> <laughs> no, not what games he's in. Fuck you, brave. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have to be more specific. Let's see, um... Yo, she got soul! <laughs> Again. Not Bro. only is she a mommy, but she is the healing queen. Alright. Yeah, he does Azure Dreams, Suikoden, and Castlevania. That's the only ones I've... people say. And uh, potentially also Vandal Hearts. What about the others? For get the GameCube? Hmm... Let's see... Psycho Mantis games list. Apparently, he also mentions Eternal Darkness and Zelda the Wind Waker. Why? And apparently, also, he can mention Police Knots in the Japanese version. I've heard of that game before. Yeah. And apparently, mm -hmm. apparently, Kojima is working on another stealth game right now. I wonder what that is. Um, you know what? Let's let's ask Brave. What is what is Kojima working on right now? <laughs> um. 
Hmm. Oh. Follower, followers of the false apostle bow down to the miracles of our savior. As long as the Maiden of Dawn watches over us, we cannot be defeated. Eventually you are going to be defeated. Soul. <laughs> she just procs soul. And he's dead. <laughs> yep. So, Who um, it? you want to know how much damage Titania just did there? <laughs> wow. My death means nothing. The Maiden of Mid will bring victory to Dane. So, Titania just did 76 damage there. She actually did 76 damage? Yep. That... You know, Jacob, that is a really good level up for her. I don't know, 78 damage, actually. <laughs> Eventually, good. she's gonna max out most of her stats. Good on Mommy for doing that. She might max out defense, probably res, and even speed. Oh shit, that's right, I have to get Ike there. <laughs> I have to get Ike there. Maybe he needs help on the flyer. He's working on a new game called Fizzent. And it's gonna have it's gonna have stealth espionage gameplay just like MGS, and it's gonna have movie and it's gonna have a lot of movie scenes so yeah hopefully it's not too long <laughs> why is soul doing more damage i don't know but either way it seems like um it seems like this new fizzant game is gonna be like an actual spiritual successor to mgs that sounds like a good thing actually because i never really cared about death stranding i think it looked weird and it didn't really feel like the Dane army is much stronger than it was three years ago. Yes, by far. Even after the situation turned against them, every soldier fought with Valor. Quite impressive. Soul got nerfed? Oh. <laughs> they yeah, in this, game, Sol in this game, Soul actually got buffed in this game. You can literally damage this much and heal. It's, it's, a, it, it's a crit that heals you. That's basically it. But uh, with... Well, it kind of functions like Luna, actually, sort of, mm. but not entirely. But in Awakening, it's nerfed because it deals the same amount of damage, but halves the amount of health, the health, the amount of health you'll get. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, basically nerfed. They kept muttering about the power of their general, this maiden of mid. The soldiers seem obsessed with her. Like I mean, the only I mean I'd be obsessed can... with her too, you know. I mean, the only way that you can heal fully with Nosferatu. I mean, with whole, I mean, soul in a freaking awakening, you just need Nosferatu. Nosferatu. This might sound strange, but think of it like this. They believe in her as much as you holy knights believe in the apostle. Ha, huh, I understand. They are formidable and deluded then. Actually, is caution. Micaiah, it's over. It's Joe. The front line is broken. The Apostle's army is crossing the bridge. Alright then. Order a retreat. What? No, are you a simple are you a simp? Just destroy the bridge. Simpleton. Are you a simp? <laughs> Whatever. Inspector, with all due respect, Dane soldiers will also die if we destroy the bridge now. Those are called acceptable losses, my dear, and any losses suffered by your men are acceptable if it means stopping that army. As a representative of the Center Armstrong, I will not allow you to retreat. Fight to the last man. Inspect the gadget while I respect your opinion. Alright, so... The final decision the final is up to me. The final de the destination is up to me. As Commander-in-Chief of this army, I call no items Fox only. I thought it said Final Destination. <laughs> well, that's what we're calling it now. You believing in the Maiden of Mid? Can't believe you. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. South, order the retreat. Get those men out of there before they're routed. 
Insolent little brat, how dare you disobey my orders? Who the fuck is this guy? Nobody knows who this guy is and nobody gives a care. Nobody cares! Nobody cares. Do I have that? Nobody cares! <laughs> donuts. <laughs> and donuts. Nobody cares, donuts. <laughs> We could always leave you out here while the rest of us retreat, Inspector Gadget. How does that sound? I'll report this incident to both your king and the center Armstrong. Start thinking an excuse now, whelps. Shut up, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Shut up, Inspector Gadget. Pompous fool. Well, I'll go order the retreat. Micaiah? Inspector Donuts? <laughs> Inspector Donuts. I I'm sorry, I... Don't move. I'll be right back. What's happening? I was doing so well for a while. I feel like fog is clouding my mind. Am I losing my powers? Funny. I always wish that I didn't have this far sight. It often feels like such a burden. But this clouded vision seems so strange. Now I miss that clarity. Ironic, isn't it, Yune? Hey, dude, it's Castle Gallia. D it's Raphael. Mm. What's wrong, Raphael? I sense something strange. It just came out out of the blue. It's some sort of deep voice. Cowabunga! <laughs> Now, now, Beavis, did you just call for me? I, I did not. You heard it. You heard it too, Race. You heard it too, Mr. Van Driesen. What is going on here? Was that a voice? <laughs> I don't know, but it's calling <laughs> us out. I don't but know. It's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's calling. Uh, but it's calling for us. The voice was coming from the northeast, from the direction of Dane. I have a bad feeling about this. Let us head for Dane, okay? Please prepare to leave immediately. I will speak with the Lion King and get permission to leave. I hope nothing has happened to your sister. Cowabunga, as do I. All I know is that I must go there. That must be certain. I mean, she's fine. She just took a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, she literally did, but at least she's safe. So we are at the one hour mark, so that's not bad. Nepu Lemon. <laughs> Apostle Sonic's army with Ike at its Are we are we even going to save the last chapter for the next stream? Well, we're doing chapter 12, right? Yeah. Well, there's chapter 13 and then there's end game. Exactly. So, yeah. I feel like the end game is going to be a bit longer. Yeah, I don't mind doing a longer episode to just get part 3 done. We are going to get part 3 done. The army skirts along the mountains and makes its way south. I'm just not sure when you're free to witness that. Mm, tomorrow potentially. I hope so. The price is right. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> One million dollars. I just referenced a quote from Robocop. <laughs> Micaiah, what's going on? I heard that you look ill on the field. Are you alright? What's happened, Joker? What do you think, genius? Micaiah. Micaiah just fainted because you've been pushing her too hard. She's terrified that she won't live up to your expectations. Cancer. I... I didn't realize. I'm so sorry, Micaiah. I was just drinking with a ke with freaking Adachi. Hey guys, I think I, I, think I know what uh, Micaiah has caught. <laughs> what? Cancer. 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 <laughs> cancer, cancer, cancer. <laughs> Well, according to the doctor, she is suffering from a severe exhaustion. She she might stay in bed for a long time. Well, I'm glad that she's alright. Nobody cares! Do you think 
It will take long for her to recover. We were we were just planning to drink. After our mission is finished, we must stop the Lagoos after all. Our task is not complete just yet. Wait, you're calling him Prince Penis now? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Prince Penis. <laughs> well, I just prefer to call him a catchy. <laughs> and I call him Prince Pelvis. And I just call him a catchy. <laughs> a catchy. Okay, that's it. Are you out of your mind? I'm getting Micaiah out of here. At this rate, if the Lagoos... If the Lagoos that we shouldn't be fighting don't kill her... You certainly will. But... What? But you can't leave. Oh yeah? I'd like to see you stop me, Akechi. Damn. I'd... I held out until I... Until now. Thinking it was for the best of Dane, I was wrong. We're through with you. Please, Sothis. You must reconsider. Micaiah can't leave. Wait, did you just call him Sothis? <laughs> <laughs> did I? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. Zephy, you, you heard that, right? I said Soth. <laughs> Anyway, he he sent me some sauce. Ooh, I like that. We got okay. we got bunny nap and iris heart. I know Z I know Jose doesn't like that, but I like it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> well, King, pa well, King Akechi, nobody cares what you think. <laughs> I agree cares. with Soth. Let Lady Micaiah go. She has done enough. No, don't leave. Please, I'm begging you. I need <laughs> Micaiah to stay. No. Guys, don't go. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, that right, that's me. Elvis, what are you doing? Our army cannot function without Micaiah. I can't let this happen. <laughs> the army must continue fighting. <laughs> For the first time, an ad started at a comical reason. <laughs> Well, right. great. Listen, I don't know what you, what deals you've made with the Empire behind our backs, but I won't let you hurt anyone. If Micaiah leaves the army, she will die. So now the king shows his true colors. Akechi, I don't care if you're the king. Threaten Micaiah again and I will kill you where you stand. Is that clear? She won't... She won't be the only one to die. You, me, every single person in Dane will all die. And it's all my fault. We're really fucked up. <laughs> Elvis, you didn't. You signed a blood pact, didn't you? You signed a blood pact with the Senator Armstrong after you were crowned. That's why you've been so scared. So terrified as of late. Oh, my son. Jacob. Oh, right. What is a blood oh, pact? Makaya, you should try to... Please tell me, Your Majesty. What is a blood pact? I, I swear to you, I didn't know I... I had no idea. Bro, was really like, like the most incompetent king of all time. <laughs> he really is this incompetent. What could be so urgent that the Empire's messenger would pay a visit at this hour? Has something happened? King Pelvis, please prepare to receive Vice Minister uh, Luobano. What? Oh shit, oh. <laughs> bro, he just used- bro, fucking Luobano used the warp staff. <laughs> hey, Paisanos! King Pelvis? How did you get here? Our Empire's magical research has made leaps and bounds. This rewarp staff is our latest invention, <laughs> and so is our super show. With this staff, one can get to any destination desired. Like the final destination, the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. <laughs> Instantly. Isn't that wonderful? Um, if I may, what is the purpose of you visiting? 
Oh, yes, no time for idle chat. We have a favor to ask you, your majesty. As you are no doubt aware, this false apostle has raised an army of subhumans to reclaim her throne. We require to use the Dane army to wipe out this upstart Lagoose army. Would you be so kind to help me start up the new season of the <laughs> new Super Mario Bros. Super Show? Wait, so Lou Albano is evil? <laughs> yes. What the fuck? I, I'm afraid I cannot deploy my army on Benyon's behalf. My country cannot continue to rebuild while fighting a war. Please understand. Ah, so you reject my request for the new season? Then I have no choice but to watch you and your people slowly perished away. <laughs> what? You came here to make threats? The terms of our pact are quite clear in this document. That's the treaty I signed on that day of my coordination. I don't see how this pertains to... Ah, yes! To make things clear, young Akechi, this is the same document. You, my naive king, signed it, believing that it was an oath to... reparation from Benyon. Sadly for you, however. What are you telling me? In truth, this wonderful scrap of... <laughs> parchment is the blood pact. Once you sign this paper in the blood pact, you can never break the terms of this pact. A blood pact? But he, but Budhead said he saw no problem with the terms of the treaty. No. Oh, Budhead. No. Oh, how could he? That's right. Budhead is one of us. He found the perfect king would execute the Senate's will. <laughs> Where Byleth? I can't believe it. I won't. So, Butthead and and uh, Lou Albano is evil. Yep, pretty much. You better stop believing it. You at least heard the stories of the Forbidden Blood Pact, haven't you? There's no Byleth, Elijah. It's a marvelous tool we used by the wise to control the foolish. Unwatchable. The agreeing to the Blood Pact, to the Pact, bound to it. Ah. To its absolute, because we are about to make another season for the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, Super just Mario. in case somebody, <laughs> just in case somebody, ruins our plan for it. Once sworn, the Blood Pact will punish any transgression against its terms, with the complete destruction of its country and its new season. So fuck you, Luigi. <laughs> fuck you, Luigi. You can't be serious, that's impossible. Calm yourself, young king, and listen. I'll tell you an interesting story. Long ago, a foolhardy king signed a blood pact with the Empire to take back his lost kingdom. In exchange for his country, he vowed complete obedience. He soon broke the terms of the pact and began to disobey the Empire. Presumably, he didn't understand the power of the oath he'd sworn. Would you like to hear what happened after he defied the Empire's will? <laughs> he died. <laughs> what? It was quite tragic. One man died on the first day. He was only a peasant, so no one really noticed. Two more on the second day has died. Three more on the third day. I think you can see where this is going. The wave of the mysterious death spread across the kingdom like... Cont con contingents or whatever that's called <laughs> after 30 days the king finally realized that this was the curse of the blood pact the price of in you know what sure infringency <laughs> he apologized to the empire and pleaded with them to lift the curse his plea was graciously accepted on 100th day. By then, the king has lost half of his subordinates as well as his wife and child. Damn, so Lou Albano's committing genocide. That's crazy. Yeah, he's literally committing <laughs> genocide. That country remained under the control of the Senator Armstrong for a very long time. No wonder he went to hell before he died. That's true. 
I hope I made this clear. No matter how you struggle, you have no choice but to follow the orders given to you by the Empire. Yeah, I saw the no saw, Zeppi. No matter how noble your motives are, <laughs> defiance against us will result in the death of your nation. This you must never forget. Ah, and one more thing. If you considered seeking aid from outside of Dane, think again. We have spies and inf informats in every corner of Tellius. We will know immediately if you tell anybody. Damn. Little Obano's not fucking around. Yeah, that's true. He just wanted that other season of the cancelled <laughs> show. He really wanted season three of Super Show. He really did. <laughs> He's like, and Little Bono really said, I will kill every everyone just to get that third season. Let me let me get this straight. Everybody in Dane will die if you disobey the Senate. But oh, what a heavy burden it cannot be. No way. <laughs> I can't believe it. No way. I can't believe this. Shall mother the mark of your pact. It's true. This is the mark of a blood pact. My son has been deceived. Give it up. You expect us to buy that ghost story? It's just something to scare little kings into eating their vegetables. Before you before you go shining Benyon's boots, get some proof of the Senate's claims. <laughs> get some help. I almost heard that as Benyon's boobs. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> We've done enough here. Micaiah, let's go. We'll let let's them go. find let's out go. if that story is real or not. It's all true, South. What? King Pelvis and Queen Amelda are telling us the truth. It's hard to believe, but I can see it. My power hasn't gone away. It was just weakened from exhaustion. This is all so horrible. Now Dane can never be free from the Senator Armstrong's leash. Even if it's true, Micaiah, that doesn't mean we have to go to war again. We could leave Dane. But without me, who would hold our forces together? Leaving the army would be the same as abandoning the people of Dane. I won't do it. But... Why? I I'm sorry, everyone. You didn't know. Ingekechi, what are we supposed to do? Why, obey the Empire, of course. We have no other choice in the matter. As long as I follow the Senate's orders, no one will die because of me. No, I can't accept that. We have finally rest rested our country back from the occupation force. I'd rather be dead than have to bend to the will of the Empire. What are we, dogs? And now that Benyon's is ordering Dane's troops to battle, we are treated as disposable pawns. Many Dane citizens will die because of this pact, whether we obey or not. It would, ap it would appear that I have been crowned king during the last days of Dane. Follow our fight. The results is the same. We will be destroyed. With all due respect, Your Majesty, we can't give up. What? You heard me. The only way to really be doomed is to give up. Micaiah, there's no way out of this blood pack. None. What do you suggest we do? Look for a way out. I know Duke Luke Albano says the pact can't be broken, but of course he'd say that. King Pelvis, you have the resources of an entire country to draw on, and the best of reasons to do so. Check the Royal Library for Patchouli. Check the archives somewhere. I'm sure you'll find something. Just don't give up. Micaiah, forgive me. I was overwhelmed that I let myself give into despair. But you're absolutely right. We can't give up just yet. We have people to save. Unfortunately, we don't have much time. Benyon will not put off triggering the blood pact until we found a way to break it. We can make time. If we take on the Empress and the Lagoose forces, it'll look as if we're obeying the Senate. 
In the meantime, you can research the pact. All right. I'll start immediately. Just give me as much time as you can. Of course. We'll do our best to hold them back, whatever it takes. Well, I'll be damned. T King Pelvis gave us a Master Crown. Oh boy. Like we need any more of those. We got boots. Those are always nice. And Moony? 10,000 gold. Nolan, and a being, Nolan being the goat. We can shop. Oh, now we gotta play with the the bra the brawn mid gay. Ooh, those look like good weapons to get. The daemon card, beast killer, <laughs> some elixirs. Maybe I could get the beast killer. Yeah, there's a lot of weapons. Oh, I'm sure. A silver great lance? Oh, damn. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, I can't give this to Jill right now, but this will do. Wow, these weapons are hella expensive. Oh, they are. Door key. Even though she can't level up spears just yet. She is in a long way. Damn. Hmm. Maybe I won't use the hammer that much. Since I'll save it for later. I'll take... Maybe I should buy her some freaking... Some freaking spears. Yeah, I guess you can. I mean, I already maxed out freaking... Axes for now. For now. Well, he maxed out strength. <laughs> Good on him. Makaya really needs to level up, though. But let's see if though, but let's see if those level ups are good. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if she actually gets good level ups. <laughs> Everything but speed. <laughs> wow, her speed growth is terrible. She didn't she get a single will. speed level up there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it really, it really is slow, Kaya. <laughs> she really, really needs to level up her speed. <laughs> but she said no. Hmm, I might have an idea of what I'm about to do. Yep, that's what I'm about to do. What does Resolve do again? Raises strength, skill, and speed by 150% when the unit has less than 20% health. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, she really needs that, just in case. And she didn't even level up... And, and she didn't even max out her magic. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Man, most of my units really suck. True. I mean, at least you have Jim Carrey now. Yeah, that's at least good. It, look, it looks like as the Apostle forces are using this road to avoid head-on-head -head confrontation, I guess we were right to assume that they don't have the necessary means to fight. Bikaya, are you still set on this? Are the rocks ready? <laughs> yep, they are in position. General Mayo's forces have encountered General Ike's Lagoose forces. The ba battle has begun. Let the battles begin. The decoy operation has succeeded. The Apostle and her Holy Guards are heading this way. All forces get in position. Our target is the Apostle. We'll attack her while General Bike is distracted. If we let her through, her army will cross in the Benyon. That will surely anger the Senate. And the Senator Armstrong will move to destroy Dane. We must we must fight with everything we have so that Dane may live on. But Bakai, is that really necessary? Can't we avoid all of this fighting and somehow pretend they pretend to obey the Senate? But Micaiah, it's more than any anyone else who used to hate the plans like this. The Apostles' army is incredible numbers. We wouldn't stand a chance taking them head-on. They would march right through us. We need to give Pelvis more time, but if we hold back, the Senator Armstrong will know we're up to something. For now, let's just try to draw this out a bit and stop the Apostles' army. Makai, your strength moves me. I shall not falter. Mikaya, all right, let's do it. Let's do it for our friends and for our country. We have visual confirmation on the Holy Guards. They're heading this way, dude. I'm not ready for this chapter. Rainy chapter. The party is full already. Unfortunately. Eight, only eight good units. Yeah, only eight. It's like the lowest amount of units ever, dude. Bull. Yeah, because I really don't have that much arm. The Dawn Brigade just really sucks. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, Zeppi wasn't kidding. No dir. Oh, and you have to defeat a certain number of units. That's gonna take forever, dude. No, it won't. I don't know, man. Last time you said that, the map took like an hour and a half. So, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know this game, but I had a feeling. Well, Jacob, the more the merrier, because we are going to hopefully finish this map quickly. You know what they say, the more the merrier. Ooh, I can transform immediately. That's good. We already got dog mode. Yeah, we do. And yes, I'm and yes, I'm gonna keep saying dog instead of wolf, just to annoy people. You just enjoy annoying people. <laughs> yep, that's my job. More like your blow job. <laughs> blow job, Junior. <laughs> at least these yeah, at least these yellow units are gonna carry. Yay! Look at all these rocks. Well, you just try to find ways to be funny. Yes, very food me. Well, that's satisfying to watch. Just watching the rock hit a shit ton of enemies. Well, at least we will. F well, at least we will have an advantage. Yep. Mostly, you can honestly just put this map on autopilot and it'll beat itself. Oh, some, oh shit! Something about Tanith. What is happening? We're under attack. We'll engage them now. Please stay inside the carriage. 
Did I say that right? Carriage or yeah. carriage? It's carriage. Your Majesty. Someone go tell General Ike. And back to speeding up. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I started watching uh, Sailor Moon again last night after not watching it for like eight weeks. <laughs> I know, I, wonder not, why. I know, a long time. I took a, I took a little break. I took a little break from Sailor Moon, but I'm back to watching it again. And um, because I wasn't sure how to feel about the new plot point because um. I really loved the uh, first season of Sailor Moon just because, like, you ha you like you had this overarching villain that was like commanding a bunch of lesser villains, and uh, but the new one is about these like two alien people that are like trying to absorb the humans' powers to um, like fuel a tree and restore their life source, and they keep failing miserably. <laughs> That's just depressing. And they show they show up in every episode and disguise themselves as high school students. And and then in like, you know, when they're not looking, they just like switch to their alien forms and then they, they pull out like a Yu-Gi-Oh card and they summon a random like demon. That's, that's pretty that's, that pretty much sums up season two of Sailor Moon so far. Oh, that's a good level up. And she got everything but speed again. <laughs> Slow Kaya. Okay, well, well, the speed that I'm gonna aim for this time is probably like 20 speed. Hmm. Well, she's only got like 10 more levels. I have to do that. I know. You you want to know what's worse, Jacob? What? She's gonna max out defense. Uh, out of all stats, she's gonna max out defense. And that's a bad thing. I thought defense was good. She has low defense. Oh, okay, I see now. That's literally the most depressing thing about Micaiah. She can't... She can't even level up speed. She... She is really fragile. She... She is just awful. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if she's mid. You know what would be really funny? What? Imagine if I turned the Dawn Brigade battle theme into Ashnor's theme. <laughs> eh. That would be just too much. <laughs> uh, oh, Jill, Jill stole Micaiah's speed stat. <laughs> and she maxes his out. Yeah. Jill is like, hey, I can max out speed. Why can't you? Her maximum speed is literally 25. Well, you know Effie not... better than me. What would be a good song to replace the Dawn Brigade battle theme with? Because I was just going to could... pick something random. You could probably put the Devoted back. You know what? Sure. <laughs> you can have the Devoted while I can have time of action for the... For the freaking Grail mercenaries. You know what? That's a good idea. Yeah, that I can put something from Smash. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Imagine if I made it the attack song from Brawl. <laughs> no. Just, um, <laughs> I'm just not that much of a fan of that music. Oh. Oh, what, what, sorry, about, Jacob. what about the story five meeting? No. No. I just don't like it that much either. Bo. Sorry. Um I don't know a lot of good songs from Brawl. A lot of good FE songs anyway. What if oh what if we put um what if we put the Hmm I was gonna say like maybe a Path of Radiance song in there. Eh, maybe it could work, but I digress. We're almost out of rocks already. Wow, they, they just surrounded that guy. 
Let's fast forward. How did bro live with three health? Smash doesn't have good FE music? Oh. Yeah, Smash literally doesn't have that much I mean, I mean, I swear like 20% of the fucking music in Smash is just a remix of fucking Lost in Thoughts All Alone. <laughs> it's like 20% of the FE music in Smash. It's, it's, it's also, it's that and the Three Houses main theme. I just don't even like Three Houses music that much. Me neither. The only thing I like is God Shattering Star. It's the only song I like. At it's, least God Shattering Star is good. Yeah. And, and mid apex of the world. Yeah. You know, Jacob, I just, you know, Jacob, you should realize a thing that the Grail Mercenaries has so many good battle theme music. True. <laughs> they are going to attack a healer? <laughs> how awful. I mean, how low can you get? Yeah, I still don't know why they put Apex of the World instead of God Shattering Star in Smash, though. Beats me. And they put, like, three different versions of the Three Houses song in the game. Because that that's just boring. Yeah. I like to pick, you know, high energy shit. Why are there so many red units, bro? This is not FE4. <laughs> good one. Okay, that's that's a good that's a good joke. I'll give it that. It's like, it's like the fucking it's like the fucking leaf map from Engage, where there's just like a thousand units in like the same spot. Well, the good thing is that I have allies backing me up. Yep. Well, I mean, it makes it easier to kill 30 units when there's, there's like, so many of them. Yeah, I'm literally halfway finishing. Hmm, good. Doggy. I mean, I'll go through the BRSTMs when I'm done with this. Sigurd's map was the same? Oh, boy. How lame. Well, what did you expect, Jacob? It's safe. It's it's a freaking older Fire Emblem game. Of course, they're about they're bound to have huge maps. Well, these maps are also big and tedious and long <laughs> and slow. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> you can blame the freaking people who made those maps all you want. Still, still, still a step up from Path of Radiance's maps, though. I know. Just slightly. Well, like I said, the game is much faster. Yeah, true. Well, this game is longer, though. It's 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 longer, but higher quality, which is good. And she literally maxes out freaking. Skill. Good on you, Laura. Damn, bro, only has bronze daggers. Weak ass. Too bad he doesn't have Bane. <laughs> yeah, and that's why Heather is better. And that's why <laughs> Sonic Drift sucks. And hotter. Don't forget and, and, hotter. and hotter. Damn, he didn't even get a crit. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Anyway, anyway. Wow. That's as low as it gets. Well, he has to get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I mean, there were some good- there were some good emblem maps in Engage. Um, like, obviously the Soren one was really good. Because it was literally just a map from this game. The Ike map was good. Yeah, um, yeah the freaking Lava chapter. The Marth map was also pretty good, from what I remember. Um, wow! You li literally missed. Um... I don't know, hard to say. Like, some of the maps were mid, and also some of them you did in, like, one turn. Which, that's the funny thing about Engage. It was so easy to cheese Engage. Like, he, he finished the Erica map in one turn. 
<laughs> Isn't it kind of bad that you that you literally cheese through it? I mean, I don't care. It was over faster. <laughs> I personally rather have a short map than a map that drags on. I wonder why you're the impatient one. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, yes, contrary to popular belief, not all Canadians are patient. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jacob, I'm aware that not all can Canadians are patient. I, I already realize that. I. Yep. Yup. You are literally underestimating me, I will say that. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Look at all these yellow units we have. I do like the rain effect though, the rain is nice. Nice touch for this map. Oh yeah, it's just gonna it's just gonna keep going. <laughs> I crit. I literally a staff user critting. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> wow, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's not in any real danger. Ha, huh, Bowman versus Bowman. Bro, bro, th those those red units were shuffling. They were trying to do the Sid shuffle. Oh yeah, that's a, that's another series of movies I need to rewatch. I need to rewatch the Ice Age movies. Really? Why? I haven't seen them in years, decades even. Neither have I. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, this this map will be over before you know it. Oh, it will be over soon. Because, I mean, just look how many fucking units there are. Yeah, we are literally more than halfway finished. It's good to have a short map for a change. And I hear I was thinking this map would take a long time. Maybe it's because all those yellow units are carrying it and making it shorter. They are. Actually feels like a proper army. Fuck you, Micaiah. Well, at least she's going to max out. I don't know. Magic, you, I guess. Well, you are right. She does have shit defense. Only 14. No, not the right sound effect. Whatever. What does Epi send me this time? Ooh, okay. Hold up, hold up. We got some sauce. We got sauce alert, guys. We got a threesome. <laughs> Ooh, a threesome. <laughs> a threesome. Like and and Boony Iris Heart. <laughs> but I like the threesome. That, that's that's some good sauce right there. Ooh, that's really hot. How'd you find how'd you find that? Damn son, where'd you find this? That's a good question. <laughs> Don Boru? Oh, of course. The one site that I always forget to check. Do you even go to that website anymore? Uh, no. I'm a Pixiv user, not a Dan Boru user. Sometimes you're funny. Funny. But hey, maybe I could. Maybe I could make an account there and search for stuff. To give me more options. I wonder if anybody has genuinely clicked on the Pixiv link on my YouTube. Because <laughs> I have my Pixiv link there if people just want to look at the art that I've been saving. <laughs> Which is both a good idea and a bad idea. Mostly a bad idea, but whatever. <laughs> what makes me say it's a bad idea? I mean, if people want some good sauce, you know, I have my Pixiv linked on my YouTube. You just gotta look for it. Okay. It feels like I've been doing this map for 20 minutes. Yeah, that'll be a record for, like, the shortest map we've done in a while. Well, okay, then. Okay.
Come on, doggy. Aww. I didn't kill him. This might be the last turn. Maybe. Especially because that guy's about to die. So many units. Okay, that guy was one of ours. <laughs> yeah, get that guy. Don't let that guy get away either. One. Chase after him. Stop using stop wasting vulnerabilities. That's a waste of time. You guys will be fine. You can sack yourself. Oh, come on. Well, it's never going to end if these guys keep trying to target each other. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, ni nice crit random enemy in it. Three, three, more units? three units left. Yeah, we're done. Would have been nice if I one-shotted. <laughs> yeah, but it made it just that much faster. <laughs> I love how he had to realize and sweep like, oh yeah, right, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. Wow. You see, this is the level ups I really like to see. <laughs> but unfortunately you have fucking slow Kaya who can't even listen. <laughs> slow Stupid. Kaya. Stupid bitch. You stupid bitch. Yo, I have so many good options to kill. I I made perfect damage. Perfect damage. Yeah. You see, Jacob, I think I have some good use for the freaking Brave Axe. Brave Axe carrying. When Nef Nef, the Dawn Megade is mid. Nef Nef, that's what we're calling her now. Jacob, I think we're finished with this map. Yep. But let me see if anybody has good items. Nope. Nothing. Seize your warning, guys. <laughs> Well, I see one of my units that I probably most likely use. <laughs> yep. Not like it matters. Want to end the chapter? Yeah, let's end the chapter. Bro, why? We could have ended the chapter right there. There we go. Okay, We're perfect. Finished. I can't spell her name, I'm too lazy to think about it. Nef Nef is a good name. We're in position at the top of the cliff, and the holy guards are at the bottom, just as we planned. Alright, thank you. There's no turning back now, Micaiah. You have to give the order. Yes, I know. Number 9 Lodge. General Mail has fallen the claws of subhumans, dude! We're all gonna die! General Bike and Lagoo's alliance are heading their way to rescue the Apostle. Prepare to move to the next enemy phase. Archers, get ready. There's no more time for doubt. Yeah, drop sand on them. What are they doing? Why are they pouring down the cliff? No, it's... it's oil. They're going to set us a flame apostle onto my pegasus we'll take to the sky <laughs> cover yourself in oil we'll protect Did the apostle from the archers by becoming her shield holy guards form up jacob it's black flammable flammable oil yeah i know no no sigrin we can't leave the others here i'll not allow it commander we're ready Ascend. 
You're gonna be shocked of what's gonna happen, Jacob. Don't let the Apostle escape. Arches, mages, bring down that Pegasus. Yo's Captain Falcon. Yeah! Don't move! I see one arrow flying and this... <laughs> and this boy gets a quick lesson in falling. Damn, Captain Falcon saving the day again. He is literally about to kill him. <laughs> Damn, he's raw as hell. Captain Falcon! Ugh. South, no, please. All units, cease fire now. Damn it, Captain Falcon. General Ike has reached us. We failed. Here comes Bike. Makai of Dane, listen to me very, very carefully. Tell him to let South go. Not a chance. I'm offering you a choice. Surrender now and go home to Dane, or fight us and die. We can't. We won't retreat or negotiate. Regardless of what you believe, the only choice we have is to fight. Makai, are you insane? Look around. Every single person in your army will die. Do you care that little about them? Enough! Everybody stand down! Apostle. I've, been in th I've seen enough bloodshed for one day. That's enough. Please. No more. We'll retreat for now. You'd better do the same, and I mean now. I'm not sure how long I can hold my men back. But we can't. Fine. His death is on your hands. Then, I'm sorry, little Soth. Your friend just killed you. Say a quick goodbye. Uh oh no oh my so th he literally he literally had the balls to do that damn captain falcon nah he's fine <laughs> oh thank goodness south well it's supposed to say goddess but <laughs> oh thank the goddess take that as a lesson little barak Next time, there won't be a catch <laughs> to you. So Captain Falcon dropped him, and then one of his lackeys were there to pick him up. It's like a fake out. General Jim Carrey, I'll ask you one last time. Talk some sense to that girl, all right? She is losing it. We cannot pursue you this time. However, we cannot avoid this war. That is all I'm saying for now. And I'm sorry, Ike, for this. What is going on with you people? <laughs> bro, I, bro, Ike literally just came and said, Y'all are fucking delusional. <laughs> it would have been better if Soth died. Well, Jacob, <laughs> this is the next chapter, I'm afraid that's gonna happen. What's the situation? <laughs> the fuck is the situation? It's awful. The Benian Central Army and the Crimean Royal Knights have almost been completely obliterated. On top of that, the oil that Dane used has injured the Holy Guard's Pegasi and all but grounded them. But it said Pegasi. Pegasi, whatever. I've never seen that word. <laughs> yeah, I think awful fits. Thoughts, everyone? Thoughts? Dane must answer for this. We must attack them immediately. We can't. If we fought Dane now, we couldn't possibly take on the Senator Armstrong's armies. We have to get Dane listen to us. Confusion is exactly what Lil' Bono wants. Dane's merely a pawn in this scheme. But there's one thing I do not understand. Why you use such horrible tactics? Oil and fire. What is that girl Micaiah thinking? Micaiah? The Imperial Army has Micaiah on their side? Raphael, when did you arrive? Just, <laughs> Just now, with Raisin and... Queen Na Na Nalia Grayson went straight to his sister. He will be there with Lien in the moment. Is it alright for the three of you to be here? What about the medallion? The medallion is here. Ooh. 
we're very near at this point of Galdur won't be able to contain its power if the war guns goes on much longer the dark god will surely awaken yeah it's the thing that shows up every chapter sad music Is that a dragon stone? Please, please save him. Please save my son. Come save my pelvis, I beg of you. <laughs> it would have been better if Soth died. Well, that's kind of dark. <laughs> I found it. This is it. A way to break the blood pact. Thank the goddess. I will be able to save my people after all. Well, what is it? Prince Kurth, what are you doing out so late? Looking for someone? Oh, hello, Anna. No, I was just looking at the moon. It's reflection on the lake. Quite lovely, isn't it? Yes, quite. Mm. He's also got stone. It's a stone, Luigi. You! How did you get in? How did you find this? Help, he's here! Oh! My apologies for the long wait. Is the Apostle you... safe? Oh wait, wrong voice. <laughs> Is the Apostle safe? She fled to Crimea, then exposed the Senate's plots to the world. Currently, she leads the Apostle army the, through Dane, and is preparing to storm the Empire. If I had I to guess, one of these is the Black well. Knight. It's time for us to make a move. Make your move. Make your stand. Oh, it's... You somehow got it right! I guess I was right, because Zelgius. As you wish, my master. And also Sephiroth. Laron. SpongeBob announcer. Dayan launches a surprise attack against the Apostles' army. Jacob, can you just believe that we've made it through this game so far? Yeah. We are this close to finishing the game. Yeah, we're close to getting to part four. Which is shorter a little, is by a little bit. But this is where shit starts to happen. <laughs> shit hits the fan. Yeah. Well, it says, there, it, it says there's 11 parts in, um, part 4. Or 11 episodes, right? Or 11 chapters. Yeah, 11 chapters. And five of those are endgame chapters. I wasn't even joking. This is kind of wild. Blood contract. Finally, it's gonna end so we can get to Garen Quest. <laughs> hey, man, I'm enjoying this game, though. Jacob, I was afraid that this chapter is about to happen. And now it's winter. A rebellion empire? Is that true? Yes, the empire has thrown into chaos since General Zelgis freed the Prime Minister, Zephyrin. Oh yeah, I forgot Sephiroth's the Prime Minister. They've enticed peasants by asking, Who should you believe in, the Senate or the Apostle? And the people have chosen the Apostle, correct? Yes, they are rotting in the capital and day and night demanding answers. The Senate is busy trying to quell the masses. This is great news. If we were to forge an alliance between Dane and the Apostle supports in Benyon, that is not a wise choice. The curse on the Blood Pact will begin killing our people as soon as we do anything the Senate doesn't care for. Defeating the Senate doesn't guarantee the curse will be broken either. In fact, it ensures that it will never be broken. In which case, Dane's destruction will cause... will, will come more slowly. It will become nonetheless. So we can't attack the Senate and can't ask for help. The only thing that we can do is to search for a way to get rid of the curse. This is driving me crazy. If we could just contact the Apostle, 
But if the Senate heard of the war, heard the word of it, they will destroy us, and hands are tied. I mean, so it's just not so it's not even going to talk about the fact that he almost died yesterday. But whatever. <laughs> Luckily for us, that is not true. I have some good news for a charge. Good news, a everyone. The Blood Pact. Where is it, Micaiah? Please bring, bring her here. You discovered how to break the Blood Pact? I'll get her right away. <laughs> Bro went into the library to look it up. <laughs> you, you can't, can't be, be serious, serious, Your Majesty. But I am. Don't you see? This is the only way to save Dane. The information was in the book, hidden away in the secret room. I think it's reliable. I must ask you to reconsider, my king. There must be another way. There must be. We can't afford to wait for another situ solution for to present itself. We have to try. I cannot go through with it. Micaiah, the life of every single person in Dane depends on this. If it works, we can stop fighting this absurd war. It will be all right. I know it will work. Please do this, Micaiah. I can't. I thought I made up my mind. I thought I'd do anything for Dane. But then I saw Soth taken from me, and I saw him fall. I was powerless to do anything. I'd taken so many lives as a general, and yet... When I thought so th sort of so th dead. Even if if it hadn't been so th in front of you, you wouldn't have been reacted to the same way. That kind of person are you? Individuals' lives taken before your eyes weigh more heavily than the many lives taken during the chaos of war. If the life is... If that life is someone dear, the burden is worse. It's only human, isn't that true? Micaiah, if you're if you're caring soul that I must admire, that is why I want it to be you. I want you to kill me. No, I can't. I can't do that. Don't make me do this, please. The blood pack breaks when the Pact Maker is killed by a third party. That is exactly how it's written. This is the only way to save Dane. Please, please don't ask me to do such a horrible thing. This is my duty as king, Micaiah. You won't do it. I'm ask. I'll ask someone else. Oh, damn! You actually get the choice. Obey his command or pass the burden to another. There was actually going to be a third choice to spare his life, but. This is a new game, so I can't. Hmm. Do you get a better Do you get a better ending if you pass the burden? No. Not really. So even when passing the burden to somebody else, he will he will be killed regardless. Oh, I see. But there but a new game plus there act there's actually a choice to spare his life. Interesting. Yeah. So I have no choice. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for you and for Dane. Thank you, Akaya. General Toronto General Jim Carrey, please look after the people of Dane. Yes, Your Majesty. So th I am sorry for all that. I had to put you and Micaiah through, including this. Please forgive me. Don't worry about that now, Akechi. Micaiah, please give the ring to my mother. Tell her that I loved her dearly. I will, Your Majesty. Goodbye, my friends. Well, this went dark really sudden. Damn. Well, this suddenly went this dark. Your Majesty, what have I done? <laughs> yeah, this is one of the darkest moments that you might ever see. Pelis, is he here? No! 
Pelvis, my dear Pelvis. Who did this? Who killed my son? Was it you? I know who it was. It was you. You killed my pelvis. It was the king's wish. He sacrificed himself to make Dane free. He asked Micaiah to end his life. It was an honorable end for a king. Thanks to his noble sacrifice, Dane has been saved. Fools, is that what you think? Dane's not been saved. What do you mean, my queen? Take a good look. <sighs> the mark is still on his wrist. My son's death was in vain. No, it can't be. South, tell me that it isn't true. Murderer, give me back my son. You took my only son. Give him back. I mean, you could, like, I don't know, throw his arm into a fire or something. That, that could have worked. Jacob, if we were in New, in New Game Plus, we could have spared his life. I don't know why they would leave something like that to New Game Plus, but whatever. Or, yeah, I don't know why they even have a feature like that to begin with. <laughs> That's like, that's like, um, that's like how you're able to save, um, like, Shinji in P3P. It's really stupid. Yeah you, yeah, you literally have a point right there. Holy shit, more powerful weapons? Blizzard. There's also a tornado. Except you can't afford it. I mean, I can't afford it. A <laughs> good ending. Why obey Prince Penis? <laughs> you know what, I'll just... I'll just save it for Soren, at least. I right, good point. Maybe Tornado as well. There are some items that I might sell. Hmm... Depends what's worth selling, I guess. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you haven't given those boots to anyone. Are you waiting on that? Who's... Well, you know what? I'm just gonna give the boots to Micaiah, at least. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Yay, movement increased. That'll make up her for her shit speed. You know, Jacob, let's let's just hope for the best. Well, let's see what happens. Dink. D Do you have any idea how disappointed I am? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She is leveling up everything but speed. You know what, Jacob? That is not even a good level up. <laughs> Just... You know, I should feel offended. <laughs> Yeah, no go lulls for Micaiah, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna give... Yeah, I'm not gonna give any level ups for Micaiah. He is that bad. <laughs> yeah, give Jim Carrey the level up instead. See, he got speed. <laughs> and he's a general. It's pretty funny. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna give up and just give all. <laughs> Micaiah confirmed worst protagonist. <laughs> She's just so weak.
Well, at least Laura has a good, good enough level up. This, you see, Jacob, this is my problem. She, Laura, literally has better level ups than Micaiah herself. Yeah, that's crazy. It's unbelievable. You could make, you could make Laura a better Micaiah. I know. That's literally the problem. Imagine being Maybe outclassed be by one of your own units. Yeah. I'm just honestly happy that Laura gets more level ups. That's that's literally what matters to me. You know what? Maybe I'll buy her some light tones. Sure, you can do that. I'll just sell more. <laughs> the imaginary massive booba is slowing down Midikaya. I don't think I'll need that much vulnerabilities. No, not really. You know what? Maybe I'll sell even more items. Maybe I'll sell this. <laughs> All of grass. Maybe I'll get recovery. Sure, you could do that. Or actually, I have a better idea. Physic. She might even be the only one that can max out staff. See, Jacob? She can max out... She already maxed out staff. Ooh, great. Maybe she can get the Ashera staff. Maybe. You, you know, if... If I can at least give her some good skills, then maybe she could be useful. Give her vantage. Yeah, now she's soaring 2.0. Slow yeah, as balls. She... Yep, very slow as balls. Mm. I was gonna say, you probably should have saved instead of starting the next chapter up. <laughs> but whatever. Welcome back. What's going on with Dane? They're holed up in this big castle to the east. I'd say 10,000 soldiers, give or take. They're looking pretty desperate. Taste, eh? Just like Soren said, Nox is the next battlefield. Nox? Like the phone emulator? <laughs> ten, What's not? 10,000? They aren't really going to try and fight us with 10,000 men, are they? It'd be suicide. Dane should know about the rebellion in the Empire by now. We should speak with them. They have nothing to gain by siding with the Senator Armstrong. Why continue the fighting? We can't afford to lose any more troops or time here either. We should be here at the- we should be at the Senator Armstrong's doorstep by now. Agreed. Sephiroth has earned some time for us. We can't afford to lose that advantage. We must press on. Let's win this battle quickly and continue on our way. Will I continue with their lives? General Ike, please allow us to join you on the battlefield. Shouldn't you be watching over the medallion with your brother and sister? Is it really a good idea for you to be away? They manage, they can manage without us for a while. I am here because I must see Micaiah. I want to save her. I can reason with her. I know it. Kawabunga. If we can talk to her face to face, maybe she will understand. It's also for our own peace of mind. All right, come with us. I'll tell my men to avoid firing at Micaiah. Sound good? Thank you, Ike. The outer gate's been breached. The Apostle Army's storing the castle, dude. We're all gonna die. Here they come. It all ends here. 
Holy shit! Let's finish this fight quickly. All units, attack. We will not lose. We cannot lose. If we lose today, everything Pelvis has done will be in vain. In the name of King Pelvis, fight for Dane! Holy shit. And now we can save and end the episode. And do chapter 13, lads. You want to see the requirements? Um, pretty sure it was just like, defeat Ike or something. I want to start to see to check, okay, Jacob? We're not gonna right. we're not gonna start the chapter. I just want to check. And you get purge. She has purge. Hold line. Oh, great! It's a defense chapter. Either that or defeat Ike. Which I literally can't do. I can't defeat Ike. <laughs> because Ike's too strong. Look how much I build, Jacob. I literally build him to be one of the best. <laughs> well, that's funny. Now your efforts are working against you. <laughs> that's literally what I've been trying to tell you. Literally, my efforts are against me. All right. So, uh, stall for 12 turns is the next idea then. Gotcha. Jacob, I'm... You see, Jacob, this this is literally why I'm scared of this chapter. I am literally scared of this chapter. Oh, boy. <laughs> she only has Purge. I mean, at least she maxed out Res and Magic. Yeah, but yeah, but even maxing out Res and Magic, that's not good enough. <laughs> Great job, dumbass. Yeah, that's funny. But yeah, like I said, ma but like I said, literally maxing out Resin magic is not good enough. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> oh, guys, guys, guess what? Uh, Heather has uh, found another victim. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, <laughs> that that's at least fitting because if if Heather was there, she at least have to learn speed. Yeah, Heather Heather would make would force Micaiah to max out her speed. That's why I'm half. That's what I wish that could happen. If if Heather was there, then she could at least max out speed. Yep. But until then, I am not going to level up Micaiah until she learns speed. Yep, pretty much. If she, if she does level up speed, then good on her, I suppose. Well, anyways, yeah. guys, thanks for watching Radiant Dawn for today. I'm hungry. I want to go make some lunch. It's like 2 p.m. now, and I haven't had lunch yet, but... Anyways, guys, um, yeah, we're gonna finish up part three next time, and then we're gonna start part four. Well, we're, we won't start part four, but we'll at least, like, see the opening cutscene, probably. But yeah, Jacob. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Jacob, just so you know, uh, the, the base theme is actually gonna change into something else. Oh, cool, can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be really depressing or something. Yeah, probably because King Pelvis is dead. <laughs> Either that, or something bad is going to happen in ra in the final moments of Radiant Dawn, because, trust me when I say this, the music is going to be similar to what you heard in Persona 3. Hmm. It's gonna That's be, cool. it's, or, in, I, I prefer to compare it to, like, Persona 2. Really? Where the map, map theme? Where, where the map theme gets all depressing at the end of the game. Is it map theme 2? Yeah, map theme 2. It could be a... Yeah, it's either Map Theme 2 or Memories of the City. Yeah, pretty much. Well, like I said, Jacob, this chapter is going to... It's just going to eat, eat up my mind because... Like I said, I'm really worried about this chapter. Do you see why I'm worried about this chapter? I mean, you got lots of yellow units. You'll be fine. Yeah, but... Yeah, it says that I have to... That I have to protect the line for 12 turns. Mm, I'd, I'd say you can put, like... Jim Carrey at the base. You know what's worse, Jacob? What? At the final few turns, Ike is actually going to move. Oh shit, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's gonna be the problem, Jacob. I am not going to survive this chapter. Eh, he'll be that... fine. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is really heavy for me, Jacob. I... I... I am not going to win this chapter. This is going to be similar to what happened in the freaking arson chapter. Oh boy. At least I won't be up until 2 in the morning watching that. Yeah, I guess so. So that's one but, good uh, thing. 
Yeah, hopefully not. Alright, It doesn't well, even do... At least, it, at least the freaking defense chapter doesn't even let me require to do some crazy gimmicks. Yeah, you just have to survive. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, survive to make sure that all my units are safe. Yep. But anyways, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow, man. I'm, I'm down to finish up part three tomorrow because I'm kind of in the mood for it. Yeah, me too. So uh, um, I'll yeah. see. I'll see you then. Bye. Yeah. Take care. All right, well, I'm going to go now, guys, so I'll see y'all later. Um, I'm going to bug Seb and see if he wants to... Oh, actually, right, Seb's not free today, I don't think, so I can't do GTA. So I might do Neptunia later today. I'll see. Anyway, see you guys then. Bye.